it's Leanne and as you can tell from the title of this video I am here with an unboxing. So I'm just you know tooling around my house the other day trying to get the paint out of my hair and you know my pores of my skin and my fingernails and the door goes and it's my postman and my postman brings something very very interesting with him and it is this package this mysterious package from Pan Macmillan. And I have opened it just a little bit, just to see exactly what it was, but I haven't gone through it, because as soon as I saw what it was, I went, <gasps> I must share it with people. Ba 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 This delightful little box is celebrating the release of Not Working by Lisa Owens. In the back of this we have got a little note and it says, here's a few goodies to get you through the mid-year slump. You're not alone, my friend. And if anybody saw my last Friday reads, they will be able to tell that I have been in a little bit of a mid-year book slump. So, <laughs> timely, I think. Mm -hmm. And this comes, love from team, hashtag not working, which you can use to discuss this parcel, this video and this wonderful book. And because I'm me, the next thing that I see in this wonderful box is sweeties. This is a pack of straws from Haribo and I love Haribo. They're one of the only things that I would really, really struggle to give up if I were to convert to actually being vegan, which you know might take me a long time. And also because I am me, the next thing that I spot in this box is this. This is a miniature of Bombay Sapphire, which, in case you did not know, is a British gin. Thank you, Picador. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, team hashtag not working. Sapphire pretty, but it will last not one second. This is a tub of paper clips and red paper clips at that. I love me some stationery, so that's a winner. Thanks, guys. And what else do we have? Oh, 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 <gasps> more stationery. This is a pencil for Sharpie and Blunt, and it says, hmm, what's for lunch? I feel like, you know, the people at Pan Macmillan might know me a little too well. Too well. Sweeties, gin, stationery, perpetually wondering what's for my next lunch. The next thing that we have is a coaster and it says on it a very sorted and mind-blowingly productive person sits here 2017. Clearly very productive, very very productive. And ooh what is this? Ah I think this is seeds. It says Budlia, stubborn, a rank opportunist and dazzling. Let's, let's just, let's open. Ah, You know, this is actually creepily accurate because we've just planted a whole bunch of wildflowers in our garden and we like things that attract butterflies and bugs and bees and so, yeah. Aww. Aww. And finally, right at the bottom, of course, is a copy of Not Working by Lisa Owens. I don't think I can possibly do this book as much justice as the blurb on the back does so I'm going to break my rule and I'm just going to read it to you because I think as soon as you hear it you guys are going to be just as interested to read it as I am. Now and again we all lie awake wondering what on earth we're doing with our lives. Don't we? Yes. Yes we do. Claire Flannery has had more than a few sleepless nights lately. Maybe she shouldn't have walked out of her job with no idea of what to do next. Okay, that, that makes me feel like I want to have a heart attack. Maybe she should think before she speaks. And maybe then her mother will start returning her calls. God, this sounds familiar. Maybe she should be spending more time going to art galleries or reading up on current affairs and less time in her pyjamas entering competitions on the internet. <sighs> Hashtag not gonna happen. Then again, maybe the perfect solution to life's problems only arises when you stop looking for it. And by the way, Lisa's freaking adorable. So if you don't want to read the book for any other reason, read it because Lisa's freaking adorable. It's a good enough reason for me. Also, Jen. See you guys later. Maybe. Bye. <laughs>